Hey guys, Kaylee here with Gardening with Bulldogs. Grinch and I are going to show you a way to make a solar powered lamp for your garden. Um, one thing that you should know is that in the winter time you will be taking these inside because they are a lamp or in some storage unit, something like that. They shouldn't be left outside in the winter, especially in Montana. Um, today, I already have one that I've already done a couple months ago. So to be honest, it'll be kind of funny to remember how to undo everything. We'll see how well that works. Uh, there's a lots of different varieties of lamps that you can do out there for the kind of garden that you have. I luckily have had these lamps that look like statues for years now. They've been actually in Grinch's and Maggie's old room. Um, but now that that's not being used for them anymore, and to be honest, these old cords kind of made me a little nervous, so I decided that, you know what, this would be kind of cool out in the yard. So, what I ended up buying was a, what size is this pot? An eight and a quarter inch terracotta pot as my base, and then what I just kind of doing is putting this on top of it with some epoxy, and then I have a solar powered light that I bought from Walmart, and I think this was four or five dollars. It's a little bigger than your average size one. So, let's get started. First and foremost, we are going to figure out on how to take this apart. things that I probably will have to end up going and getting more. I always forget all of my stuff. Alright. I just cut the cord because I'm not planning on reusing it. It's an old item. there's a bolt on the bottom that I'm using a screwdriver to undo. Let's see if that'll kind of get it going. I'm not the worst at remembering all my tools or remembering where I put my tools. I do want to get Grinch one of those like little tool. I got one from my dad for his German Shepherd but it's like a little tool jacket that they can wear. Honestly more for the pencils. That's one thing I seem to end up getting. We have like 20 scissors just because they're everywhere. There's some little pieces from the bottom that I just have to put away so they don't get lost. Go to the Beautiful! Yeah! I do as I say, not as I do person. The responsible thing would be to literally take this part off, just epoxy that, and set that on there. If you can tell there's a little hole. This guy is just a little bit too big for it. I don't want to set it on top of there. I don't think that's going to hold as well even with epoxy on it. So I'm going to do something that I don't think is very smart for everybody to do, but I'm going to do it because I did it with that one. And I only broke it a little to have to fix it, so. And it's not for things, so I'm not too terribly worried. Grinch, I am gonna have you back up just a minute. Just a hair. Thank you. Actually, perfect. So I am just gonna lightly tap that little piece with my hammer, just to see if I could break it. Well, I did. I only broke a little. Yeah, one went a little bit better to be honest. Like I said, wouldn't 
try that out. This is why Tulip's not out here, we chose bitch. Alright. So I'm going to take my terracotta. It has been cleaned, so has this. Make sure to clean it, because you are going to spray paint it. I'd probably rather do that inside anyways. And this is just Gorilla Epoxy that I've used before on a couple of things that I've showed you. I'm just going to give it a good amount. Hopefully there's still some left in. So day two, and it's day two because I actually um, knocked it over and it fell apart. So I re-epoxied it and let it sit for a night to make sure that it was nice and strong bonded. And so now we are going to put some painter's tape around the light and the top of the solar panel. And we're going to give it a little bit of a spray paint. Uh, Grinch and Tulip are on the porch. Hopefully Tulip doesn't come over here while we're doing the spray paint. Real quick, just wanted to show you the top. It's not perfect, but it'll be good. I have oil on my hands, so the tape didn't really want to hold very well. But the paint I'm going to be using first is this Dover White. I'm going to do two coats, and then I'm just going to do one coat with this stone. Um, one thing I maybe didn't explain is the reason why I put a terracotta pot there is that way then you can actually see the statue above any of the plants. But it also looks like it's a statue because it's on a, a pillar. So 
It's kind of what I'm trying to go for on that. Alright guys, this is where we kind of decided to do them this year. Don't know if the permanent spot because, you know what, we'll store them in the winter time. But right now, they're kind of flanking the river to go into the backyard. I think they look pretty cool actually. This is where I'm hoping I can put an arbor for the climbing roses, but... They don't look too half bad. I'll try to get a picture when they're at night too, so. It's going inside. He's done. Hey, there we go. You should probably follow your brother. Good girl. She is using the door. Real quick. Go in there, baby girl. Where's Grinch? Where'd Grinch go? Go get him. Go get him. Good girl. Go get your bro. Where's that Grinch? Julep, where'd he go? Go get him. I think he's gonna get a banana. Uh oh. I know you can do it. Get in there. Go get your bro. Go get him. Go get that Grinch. Where is he? Go get him. Baby girl, go get your bro. I know you can do it. You're a big girl. You can do it. I know you can. Go get him. Go get Grinch. Baby girl, go get Grinch. <laughs> 